What's up guys, it's your friendly neighborhood Smango, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Quake Champions, and is it still fun? Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it if you like Quake and Arena FPS content. But anyways, let's get into it. It's probably been said a million times by me, other folks in the Quake community, but Quake Champions didn't really, didn't really hit it perfect. There's so many things wrong with the game. Now, that doesn't mean it's not fun. I truly believe that Quake Champions is a fun game, but it's not without its faults. Quake Champions introduces a bunch of awesome champions in the game with cool abilities and stuff like that, but does that really work in a competitive setting? I don't know. I still think, uh, as far as the game is today, it's pretty well balanced. Now, some champions are just better on certain maps than other champions. It's just the way it is. They just, how the map flows, if it's uh, an open map, is it a close quarters map? I mean, all this, all this matters in this game. Now, my biggest problem with Quick Champions is there's no server browser. I think a server browser and continuous matches would make Quick Champions just a whole nother level of games. It is so weird to me that you can only play 4v4 in a Quake game. But I still have fun with Quake Champions though. I mean the graphics are top notch. Uh, it still has Quake movement. The, all the weapons are sounds everything's great. It's just the lack of the simple things that this game should have. I mean why is there not a Clan Arena server running 24 7 I, I know a lot of people don't like clan arena but i like clan arena why is there not a ctf server running 24 7 like that's how you get people knowing they're playing you can look you can look at the server and see people on it that is important to arena fps for the casual player now matchmaking is fine all fine and dandy i mean for duels, it's fine. Like the duel in, in Quick Champions is probably the strongest aspect of the game. But guess what? Everybody doesn't like dueling. Dueling is stressful. It it's really a really hardcore game. Uh, I know they want to really focus on duels, and that's good. And one of the one of the aspects for Quake still being fun, I would have to say the Quake Pro League. The Quake Pro League is one of the coolest things to watch. I'm not one to sit and watch people play video games all day. I, I've just never been like, I'll go sit and see my buddies or something like that or check out somebody's live stream for a second. But I could watch Quake Pro League all day long. I don't know what it is. It's just awesome seeing these, these professionals play this game at such a high level. It's really, really amazes me. And I'd have to say the production team and just the, the players in the Quick Pro League make Quick Champions a better game than what it really is. They have mastered this game and just made it entertaining to watch. And I've learned a lot from just watching like people like Rafa, you know, Vinger, he, of course he does great stuff on maps and champions on YouTube. And you got, you know, Kilson's a great player, you got the Hang's a great player. They all make Quick Champions better than what it really is, in my opinion. I think they really, if the Quick Pro League didn't even exist, and which we'll talk about here in a second, if the Quick Pro League doesn't exist, I don't know that Quick Champions really even exist anymore. Now, we've seen what Killing Esports done to Diabolical, so after this Quick QuakeCon, the final season of this Quake Pro League, are they going to continue with Quake Pro League? And if they quit, I don't see a future for Quake Champions much anymore. There'll be a few people who keep playing it here and there, but if there's not a Quake or a professional scene, Quake Champions is really, really going to take a huge hit, in my opinion. So yeah, the game's fun, though. I enjoy getting on playing Team Deathmatch, Clan Arena on this game, but Clan Arena is such a letdown in Quick Champions. 
not having a first person mode. You can't tell if people's actually wanting to play it. Team Deathmatch is probably one of the funnest modes to play. And it's only 4v4. I'm not, I'm not even somebody that likes to play huge big team death battles. But it would be nice if there's more than eight people playing. And then, you know, CTF needs more people to be fun, in my opinion. Like, I know the flag drag was added. I know that people have a hard time with Sorlag, -like, but if there was more people playing, you'd have more people defend it. It would almost counter itself if you just had more people playing. I don't know where, why they limited this engine or game to 4v4. That's it. You can't play anymore. That's all you can have. It makes no sense to me. I mean, just the other day I was covering the Unreal Tournament 3 and I put like 16 on 16 facing worlds against bots and it was amazing. Just having fun just doing that. Just imagine that with real people. It would be insane. It would be competitive, but it would be fun. That's my point. It would be a blast. Every game doesn't have to be so hardcore. Guys, it doesn't have to be the super hardcore mode for you to have fun in a video game. Guess what video games are made to be fun in the first place? Then you have the standouts that get really good at this game. The Quick Pro League. And you watch those people play. If you want to be those people, then you might want to be good at the game start dueling. But... The problem with Quick Champions is new people are trying it out and they're getting absolutely demolished when they start. Even I, when I was playing the closed beta, was awful at Quick. Awful! For some reason in my head, I thought I was good because I, I could beat Nightmare Bots in Quick 3. And I was like, oh man, I'm going to be good at this game. Let me tell you, whenever you log on to Online Quake, it's a whole different ball game. Bots don't get you ready for this game. And that's a problem. I don't know why they don't have a better bot making system or something. Now the bots have great aim, but they just don't teach you how to really play Quake Online. So, with my final statement, Quake Champions is fun, but it's really lacking the ability to be great. I, I don't think this game can be great in the long run. After it's said and done, Quick Champions will be probably at best in the C tier of all the Quakes. It's above Quake 4 in my opinion. But now remember, close to Quake 1, 2, and 3, it falls below those. It just does. There's no mods. There's no crazy servers. It's just, uh, that's what it's lacking. It, it's going to be a C-tier game. Best of C+. Plus. Right now, I'd say it's a C-. Minus, just because of all the features it's lacking. Now, the champions, like I said, it's great. I'm not here trying to crap all over Quake Champions. I still love the game. I, I still play it here now and then. But it, it's lost. It's lost something about it. It, it, it. It's just lost. It's lost what made Quake Quake complete quake it feels like half quake it's not the abilities it's not it's it's just missing some simple stuff like why isn't ctf played more than this it makes no sense to me let me know your guys comments thoughts and comments in the comment section below do you still think quake champions is fun here in 2021 do you still think it's going to have a future remember to hit that subscribe button Follow me over on Twitch and Twitter at the Smango. We'll see you guys next time here on Quake Fans.